Another game away from home, another game where United turn a deficit into a win. Five times this season United have conceded first away from home. Five times United have won the game. Today, 3-1 winners against West Ham. And after that first half, it did not look like we were going to get anything from that game. West Ham were 1-0 up, but realistically they should have been 2, maybe 3-0 up. By the time Bruno Fernandes came on at half-time and Marcus Rashford, it should really have been game over. But it wasn't. And when Fernandes and Rashford came on, the game changed completely. Manchester United, Paul Popper, what a goal that was. Mason Greenwood, what a finish that was. And Marcus Rashford with a delicate chip, having been put through on goal just a little bit beforehand and his shot hit the post. United were absolutely dominant and rampant for 25 minutes. And that is a reason why United fans will come out of that game happy. Another comeback win. Fourth in the table. Nine away wins I think we've got this season. Nine wins, no, sorry, nine away wins on, on the bounce. Five in a row. It's ridiculous our form away from home. But what is also very ridiculous is how predictable United are in the idea that we're going to be crap for 45 minutes and we're going to turn the screw in the second 45. Credit to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for the changes. They changed the game. But I, United really do rely on Bruno Fernandes, eh? We are a different team entirely when he is in the team and when he is not in the team. When he came in there, I think he created like five, six, seven chances within the space of like half an hour. It is ridiculous how good Bruno Fernandes is. A truly world-class player that gets everybody around him playing better. Paul Pogba in that first half, I don't think he had the best half. He will admit it. Every one of us saw it as well. But what a goal that was from him to bring United back into the game. Dean Henderson with a fantastic kick. Dean Henderson with a great performance as well. There are so many positives to take from that game, but I can't help but be left with that sense of frustration that why do United do this to ourselves in the first 45 minutes of, of most games? Why does it take just us getting pumped and beaten for us to make changes at half-time, have a change in mentality and come out playing completely different football? Why can't we just play like that for the first minute? Because the quality is there. The players are there. It seems uh, we, we just take a little bit too long to get going in games. And that's not a habit that we, need, that we need to keep because going into the Leipzig game, then we've got City next. Do that against Leipzig and City. It may be a different story altogether because West Ham's finishing there. If it was better, we would have been out of the game by the time Rashford and Fernandez came on. But look at the table coming up there. We're two points behind Spurs now. Two points behind Liverpool. This season is mad because United have been so consistently inconsistent. But again there, we've come from behind, away from home. We've turned it into a, quite, a don, quite a dominant victory towards the end there, really. United had so many chances. Mata came on, he made a difference. The subs made a difference, so all credit to Solskjaer. I thought taking Cavani off was a bit strange given how crap Martial was playing. And then Martial went off with an injury. Martial's been bang out of form all season long. I'm surprised he's still starting, really. Because if you're playing him on form, you're not going to play him whatsoever. But it, it, I find it strange that I'm not just absolutely buzzing my tits off that United have just come from behind and got a 3-1 win, great goals, great second half performance. But, it, but it's, the, it's just that niggling feeling inside me that I really hate this inconsistency we have inside the 90 minutes. It's not, it's not just from week to week now, from game week. Can't go from the pendulum swings from a great performance to a terrible performance. It does that inside a 90-minute game now. And maybe that's simply because we weren't playing Bruno Fernandes and we weren't playing Marcus Rashford and therefore the football was different because let's be honest, looking at that midfield, there, McTominay and Pogba, I think both of them largely had forgettable performances. Uh, Van der Beek, I think he can consider himself slightly hard done by to be taken off at half-time instead of Pogba, but given that Pogba scored, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made the right decision. It's just that... As United fans, we, we, we've seen plenty of these performances from Solskjaer now. Plenty of great 20, 30 minute performances sandwiched in between the 50, 60 minutes where we're just not good enough. But what United really need to do is find that consistency. And I know it's the one thing that has been eluding us the whole time. 
and it still clearly does elude us. But at the same time, we're two points off Liverpool. So who am I to complain about anything right now? Who are any of us to complain about anything right now when we're two points behind the team which seemed so far away from us last season? They're struggling with a few injuries. They're struggling with form. They're struggling with the pressure of being champions and trying to hold on to it because it's a very different ball game to just winning it once. But United there today, another game where, look, at halftime, we looked dead and buried. It should not have been 1-0 at halftime. They should definitely have had two, maybe three goals, but it didn't. The finishing was poor, and United got a little bit lucky because had a slipped, and that was probably the game right there. But United came back in that second half. Solskjaer made the changes, and Fernandes and Rashford changed the game completely. Now, what we all want to see is that from the start. And it has to happen against Leipzig and City because they're, 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 they are so much better than West Ham with their quality that if we don't play like that, or sorry, if we, if we do play like that, we're going to get punished and we may be out of the game by 45 minutes. But let me know what you're thinking about that game in the comments below. United are fourth. United are two points behind Liverpool. Do I have any reason to complain? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But three points, another away win, another comeback win. Now that is a pattern I hope United do keep all season long.